Hello, it's Joey Dyer at Eco Pounds of Tennessee. Today I'm going to show you how to install an electrical box after a panel is already injected with their phone. So we don't want this to happen, but it can. So I'm going to show you the quick, easy way to fix that on the job site. So today we're looking at installing a plug. Just for example, this is going to be outside. This is the Uber Zip, so this is the exterior. You forgot to install the, your plug for your smoker. So you want a smoker on your back patio deck and we didn't catch it, you didn't catch it when we built your panel. Now I'm going to show you how to install it. The first thing, we got to know exactly where that's at. So I'm going to measure over, we're just going to do say 8 inches, mark it. I'm going to come up, let's do it a foot up, so I've got it marked. All I've done was draw this triangle or crosshair there. So I'm going to come right here. Draw the crosshair. And in our boxes, you see these lines here and these holes. That's going to line up with the crosshair. So I line all that up. Pinch it down. Just outline my box. All right. Now here is where my raceway is going to be, where my wire is going to come in. So I'm just going to go to each side of that, give myself plenty of room. I've done got my square marked out, so now I'm going to mark my raceway. All right. My raceway is marked out. My box is marked out. Now I've got to take a drill, drill all four corners of this, if you'll notice I didn't go all the way down, I just went a little bit, you can put a piece of tape on this, so you just go in the right depth of your box. But we're going to cut all of this out so we'll get it all cleaned up then. But you don't want to go all the way through and go through your OSB. So now I've got all of that. So now I'm going to take a jigsaw and cut out my square. All right, so now we've got that out. The hardest part is getting that out of there, and we'll show you how to do that. Gunner, if you want to come up here and help me. Did you cut this out with a skill saw, or did you do a jigsaw? I don't know, skill saw. Skill mm -hmm. saw? All right, so the long cut, we could use either one here since we're just going like down a foot, but say if a raceway went all the way up top. You'd want to kind of use a skill saw, and all we're doing, we're cutting a trough out. We're just cutting a trough. So you set your saw blade, so we can move this up or down, whatever we need. Of course, my saw, uh, have it unplugged. So when you're doing this, so now I've got it like this. That deep enough. So go right there. Now we're going to plug in the saw. So now when I cut this, just cut up all my lines. <laughs> Cut the other side. All right, now Gunner will try to pop that out. While he's getting that out, I'm going to trim some of this foam off of this. You can take the jigsaw, you can take a razor knife, whatever you need to cut it off. 
So I've got it cut off. So I'm cutting this off so when the wire goes up in, we've got a room there for the wire to come in. So right now it's kind of hard for to see, but that's all full of foam. You know, the whole panel's full of foam other than that. So we're going to have to dig out a little trench for a wire. And he's digging out for the box to fit in. So we've got one already made. If we can jump over here to see it. Kind of show what you got there, Gunner. So he's dug out the hole right here. He's going to dig a little more out, but just for the video, you know, you dig that out so that'll fit in. He's going to dig this trough right here out so you got your wire to go in. This is going to go right back on. Going to use a little orange foam that comes with the kit. So when we're ready, and I won't do it on these. I got one completed, but we're going to foam all around that. We're going to put this back in. Once that dries, if it comes out the seams, that's fine. Let it come out. Let it dry. Trim all that off later. Put you some zip tape on this, and we're good to go. Got your box installed. So over here's one that we've got that's already ready to go. So you just have to go any of your lake treasures to know what to get. This is just a 4 by 4 standard box. It's got your male 3 quarter inch, your female adapter here. So this one's already cut out and dug out. So it's just going to slide in. So it's flush. See, it's flush. I'm going to run my wire up from the bottom. I'm going to run it in here. The wire's going to come out in the box. Your base plate's going to be here, especially if this wall is already standing. So here's your base plate. Here's the cover we had for it. So after I fill that full of foam, my wire's in. Everything's cut out. Everything's dug out enough. I'm going to run my wire. I'm going to fill all of that with foam. I'm going to stick this right on top. It should come up being pretty flush. Same way with the other side. You would just put zip tape on these after it's dry. Put zip tape, and you got your smoker plug, and you're ready to rock. Thank you for watching.